Hi Stampin' Friends, this is Tina Rappi. Thanks for joining me in my Stampin' Studio. Today I wanted to show you a fun fold card and this, I'm sure it has a particular name for it, but I don't know what it is. So I call this a missing middle card because the middle of the card is missing. Now this card features a brand new stamp set called Southern Serenade. And this is one that Stampin' Up! sent me and asked me to do a presentation on um, at the onstage event in Salt Lake City. And so this is a stamp set that will be available in the Occasions Catalog when it goes live on January 3rd, 2018. So, do you want to see how to make this fun, fun folds card? Well, let's go ahead and get started. So with this card, let me show you what we need. Okay, so this starts out with a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, and I've got two pieces here, and I have it scored. I am going to go ahead and post all these directions on my blog, so you don't have to worry about it right now. Just head over to stampinstudio.com, and you can find um, all of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some texture with a garden trellis embossing folder. I'm going to emboss this top edge here and right here. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, so you see here, I've got this edge embossed and this edge. Then I have a piece of basic black cardstock and Whisper White, and these I'm just gonna layer up here. So let's get that ready. This then is going to go on the inside of the card. Let's look at the original here again, like this. So what I wanna do first of all, is I just wanna lay this down for size, close this, and lay this on top. Nothing, else, nothing is adhered. And then I'm going to use the I'm So Blessed to Call You My Friend stamp that's in the Southern Serenade stamp set. And let's get this inked up, and I've got some basic black ink. So I have these pieces laying down here because I need to make sure that I'm going to have it on there where it will show. Okay, so in other words, I didn't want to stamp it up too high or too low where the words would hide it. And then I'm going to set this aside for right now. And then next I have another piece of basic black and whisper white. And on this piece, I am going to go ahead and stamp the floral image here. Now for this next part, I want to use the Memento ink because I'm going to use um, the Stampin' Blends marker and the Memento ink is what works best for this. So I'm going to use this on my piece of white cardstock. Okay, go ahead and lay down some of the darker color. Good. Next I'm going to add some Wink of Stella. This is going to put a little shimmer and shine on these flowers. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer this piece on the basic black. Just like that. And the last thing I'm going to add some of the whoops black rhinestone jewels here to the center of the flower. There we go. All right. So when I stamp, um, there's a general rule that I follow almost all of the time, and that is my rule of three, which is uh, layer, texture, and embellish. So obviously you can see I've got layers going on here and I've got layers going on here. My texture is obviously on this card. It is the um, garden trellis embossing folder and the embellishments then being the Wink of Stella and the black jewel rhinestones. 
So let's go ahead and finish putting this card together. This will go in the center. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you for putting this together. You're going to have it like this. Put your bottom piece, just setting it right on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of this. So one in each top corner and bottom corner. If you're not uh, kind of precise with where you put it, you're going to end up gluing this card shut. So, got the dimensionals on there. Let's line this back up. Close that down. Get it where I want it. I think just like that. And there we have it. Okay, so my missing middle card featuring the Southern Serenade stamp set. Everything except the Southern Serenade stamp set that I used is available to purchase right now. So my suggestion is stock up on them. Okay, as I said, all the dimensions are on my blog. So head on over to stampinstudio.com and you can um, find all of the measurements. And if there's any of these supplies that you're missing, you can go ahead and order that from me then too. I hope you enjoyed uh, my project today and I hope you'll come back another time. Thank you and happy stamping.